Hi friends, I welcome you to yet another series of a very important command in Linux. And today we are going to learn grab command. Right, so grab is a very powerful command like find, right? But it is generally used more for um, text searching and manipulation. We'll, we'll learn the entire command using 15 amazing examples. Okay. So what is grab? Grab stands for globally search a regular expression and print. So grab is a command line utility for searching plain text data and set, for a set of lines matching a regular expression. So how it works? You just type grab and then you have the string in the inverted comma and the file name. And when you enter the button it will just search it out the entire file for that particular string. So grab was initially developed by Ken Thompson for Unix operating system but now we are lucky that it is present in almost all the versions of Unix like operating system. Okay. So let's learn a very basic example of it. So how do I do a simple grab search? So I will write grab. Suppose if I want to search this string I will put it into the inverted comma and then I will mention the name of the file. Okay, so if I want to see this by example, so I will say grab, I will say this, okay, I will say I want to search this string, then I will say abc.txt, okay. So you see, grab has searched this particular string in, the, in this entire file, okay. So let's go back to our tutorial. Now we 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 have searched a basic string, but suppose if I want to search it into a uh, I mean different file format, so I can have a text file, I can have a CSV file with the same name. So how would I go about it? So I will use uh, wildcard star to have more than one format of the file, or I will use the star for searching everything instead of the file name okay moreover we can also do case insensitive search it's very simple and easy you just need to mention hyphen i in front of it and so and it will do it for you similarly you can use regular expression and search anything you want okay so let's see a small demo of it so if i want to do grab so i say grab then i said this string which i'm looking for and then I do suppose if I want to look into multiple files so you see it has searched this particular string in CSV file in the text file okay so similarly if I want to search the same thing but in case insensitive fashion then how would I do it I will say hyphen I and you see when I use hyphen I I have this in caps and this in a small cap uh, format so, if you want to use case insensitive, insensitive search, you have to use hyphen i. Okay, so let's go back to the tutorial. Now, what if I want to do a regular expression search? I want to find a line, but I am not sure of the word in it. So, I can use regular expression. So, what would I write? I would say grab. Okay, sorry. So, I miss G. Say, so I say grab. And then I will just vaguely write the word that I remember. So I will do something, something, and then I will say uh, empty, and I will say the file name. Okay. So you see, I didn't remember the complete line, but using the regular expression, I can use it. This is how you use regular expression with grep to use all its power. Right. Okay. So let's go back to the tutorial and see and move forward okay so next is full word search suppose if i want to find exactly the word is then i have to use hyphen w right i will make it case insensitive right similarly i mean most of the time when we are debugging our codes or we are doing some textual writing right so uh, we we don't actually want to see that particular word 
in the file we also want to see some lines above it some lines around it some lines below it so how would i do it so that is very simple using using hyphen a caps hyphen a and you mention uh, numbers of lines that you want to see after the match and this string after after the data string matches and the file name so what will it do it will print three lines after the example string matches in a in this file and a hyphen i for take uh, case insensitive search similarly if you want n line before it you use hyphen b if you want want n line off around it so you say hyphen c okay so we'll just see the practical version of it first we'll clear the okay so first we'll clear the thing and then we'll stop okay so i say grab i hyphen i w and i will search is in abc dot star you see i have all the lines that have is in the complete fashion okay similarly i mean if you want to see the difference uh, i can show you if you want to see the difference okay okay so let's move to the um, n lines after the match so i will say a and suppose if i want two lines after a word called amazing so after this word appears i want two line after it so see it matches here and then it prints two line after it okay similarly if i want two lines before it i will say b and you see the word matches here and it prints two line before it okay similarly if i want two lines around it how would i do it i will say cap c and it will the word matches here and it gives me two lines above it and two lines below it so it's of great importance i tell you i mean we use a lot while debugging our codes and playing with it okay okay so how you know grep generally looks for the uh, match in the current directory only by default right so if i want to search recur recursively in all the subfolders how would i do it i have to use hyphen r along with it okay similarly if i want to invert my searching right so i have to use hyphen v and most of the time you may not require the exact matches you may just require the number of the matches to use hyphen c okay so let's go and let's test it back so we'll clear it out and uh, seems some problem with my keyboard also so i say for recursive searching grab hyphen r and suppose if i want to find world called main in all the files since it will clutter our screen so i just want to see the count of it using wc hyphen l and we have just hit enter and we are waiting for the result that it will give right so now what grab is doing right here? grab is looking for this word in all the files and folders right all the files and folders in the current directory right and after that it will pa it will pass pass it on to this utility called word count what it does it will count all the occurrence of this main string right and it would list the count so it is 28025 times this word has appeared okay this it has searched all the directories i mean you recursively similarly if i want to invert the search what would i do so it will search only the current directory and it has said there's 15 files it does not have this word okay so similarly if i want to see recursively right that how many how many strings we have which does not have a current of this so it, it is this much right so you understood what i'm trying to say 
similarly if i just wanted to count the pattern right so i just wanted to count right i don't want to use this wc hyphen l using grep i can do it all alone so what it does it goes into each folder and file and it will mention the number of occurrence of the match you see you see so it in this folders it has occurred for zero times but in this folder you see it occurred for this many times so uh, it has not occurred sorry because we have inverted the searching so if we want to see how many times it has occurred then we will have to hit like this okay okay similarly if i want to recursively see how many files does not have main in the entire directory so it will just give all the files along with the count okay after the file it will give the count okay so now let's move back to our tutorial okay so we have already seen i mean the counting thing right after that uh, i think there is something going here okay suppose if i want to display only the files which matches the given pattern so we want to see only the file that matches the given pattern for this i have to use capital i okay similarly if i want to show the position of the match in a line i mean i just want to show the position where the word has exactly matched then i need to use hy hyphen b right and if i want to use the exact word match then i have to use o okay so here you can see hy grep hyphen o and hyphen b pattern okay similarly uh, if you just want the line number of it you say hyphen n okay so we'll clarify our all the things in our okay practical session so i would say grab hyphen r i sorry i and i am looking for a word called teacher okay and let's see how the how it does okay so it it matches exact word teacher recursively and it has found all this up so for exact match you have to use capital i okay similarly if i i want to i want to see the exact this word match okay so i will say w right so it it just bring out the exact word that you were looking for it will not search for um, in anything where you have a word like this right so here it was matching this word and it had some other things also but it still it displayed but when we did um, hyphen w it makes it sure that it actually matches matches the teacher word okay okay so now if i want to see the position right so what would i say i would say b and it shows the position at which this particular word has occurred so if i want to find the position it's very simple okay and similarly you can put o for the exact match okay so it makes it sure that you are actually matching this okay and if i want to see the line number also what would i do i will say hi and and it show me the line number also so this is the line this is the place that that particular word has occurred right so this is how the grab does i mean it's exceptional command and it's very helpful for i mean analyzing editing uh, mainly debugging source code that i use it for and it's wonderful i use it with find and it is amazing okay so this is how we close our today's session hope you enjoy it uh, please subscribe and like the tutorial and encourage us to add more informative tutorial for you okay we are signing off bye